The Legend of Spookly, The Square Pumpkin. Written by Joe Troiano. Illustrated by Susan Banta. One day in the pumpkin patch, the strangest little pumpkin hatched. Spookly wasn't like his friends. Where they had curves, he had ends. Spookly was different. He was odd. He was rare. Spookly the pumpkin wasn't round. He was square. While the round pumpkins had fun rolling along, poor Spookly sat there, shaped all wrong. He tried and tried with all his might, but he couldn't budge. He just sat tight. The other pumpkins teased him because he was square. Spookly wished he was round and could roll everywhere. That is, until one night when they all discovered it's fine to be round when the weather is fair, but there are times it's better to be a square. Halloween was just a day away when a mighty storm blew across the bay. It tossed the round pumpkins to and fro. It snapped their vines, then off they'd go. Bouncing left, slamming right, banging, bashing, what a sight. Spookly sat there, filled with fright, but glad to be a square that night. Suddenly, the fence gave way. Three pumpkins rolled out and into the bay. Spookly knew what must be done. It was up to him. He was the one. He teetered, he trotted. He tipped, he tried, and finally flipped. He was on his side. Again he tipped, again he flopped, again he flipped, and then... He stopped. Right in the gap where the fence had snapped, he blocked the way. The hole was capped. All the pumpkins shouted, hooray! Spookly, the square pumpkin, had saved the day. Then a pumpkin hit him with a whack. He thought his shell would start to crack. Then another one hit him with a thump, and another one with a smack. Then one by one, a ton of pumpkins piled on the stack. With a bang and a bash, and a crunch and a crash, and then it all went black. At dawn when the storm had stopped, the farmer came out and checked his crop. He picked his pumpkins up one by one and laid them out in the warm dry sun. And when the last was moved away, the farmer could see what had saved the day an odd-shaped pumpkin, short and dense, was wedged against the broken fence. Its shell was bruised, its stem was too, but there was brave little Spookly sitting straight and strong and true. Right then and there, the farmer knew of all the seeds he'd ever sown, Spookly's were the most special that had ever grown. And the next year, when it was time to sow, he sowed those seeds in every row. He watered and weeded and watched them grow. And oh, that morning, about mid-June, when the pumpkin patch began to bloom, there was tiny pumpkins everywhere, hundreds and hundreds, most of them square. But... Some were cubes, and some rectangular. Some were flat and others triangular. There was a bed of bright red ones and two rows of blue. There were polka dot pumpkins and rainbow ones too. There were thousands of colors and hundreds of shapes. Oh, what a garden variety makes.
Now every year on Halloween, Spookly's Patch is quite a scene. People come from far and near to see what wonders grew that year. They stop, they gawk, they gaze, they stare. Then they pick a pumpkin that's round, triangular, or perfectly square. Now you know the story of how Spookly grew. Maybe someday, if you tell someone too, they'll go tell someone who will go tell another. And maybe one day, we will all discover you can't judge a book or a pumpkin by its cover.